Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope everybody's doing good today. So I have this crazy story and it is coming from Utah, okay? Now we barely ever, ever get any stories from Utah, but this story is just insane. So what's going down is that basically this Memorial Day weekend, we have a mother, her name is Tori Castillo, and she's a mother of two girls. One is age two and the other is age five. And she literally took her two daughters and put them in the trunk of her car while she went into Walmart. And so the little girl starts screaming. You know, they're saying, mommy, please let me out. We're scared in here. And as people were walking by, they heard screaming coming from the trunk. And they were able to basically tell the little girl what to do to get herself out of the trunk. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip really quick. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. A mother is behind bars today, accused of locking her two children, ages two and five, in the trunk of her car while she went shopping. Her excuse, according to an eyewitness in Riverdale, Utah, that her babysitter didn't show up. Now bystanders stepped in to help when they saw the car shaking and heard shouting coming from the trunk. They even have an eyewitness say she saw the woman put the children in the trunk. They were able to coax the older child to pull the emergency latch. The little girl that I could hear screaming, she was, uh, Mom, let me out, let me out, Mom, help. She was screaming, crying. Both kids just came out, like, jumped. It was like spring-loaded. They just jumped out at us. Um, one lady took the two-year-old. I took the uh, five-year-old. I was like, this can't be what we're finding. Tori Castillo has been charged with four counts of child abuse and one charge of theft. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So like I said, this whole situation makes no sense. She's basically telling people that the reason why she put her daughters in the trunk of her damn car is because she did not have a sitter. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I just live in a weird part of the country or maybe I'm just a strange mother. But where I'm from, where I stay in the country, I don't care if I'm in LA, if I'm in Minnesota, in these two cities that I live in, um, I'm allowed to bring my children with me into the store. Like, bitch, what are you talking about? You don't need a babysitter to take your children into the store. Like, her story makes no sense whatsoever. Now, I don't know if y'all peeped what the news media said, but they said that they're charging her with child endangerment and abuse, but they also stated that she was being charged with theft. So, aha, I believe that that's the key to this entire story. This fucking drunk trailer trash bra did not leave her kids inside of a trunk because she didn't have a sitter. She put them in the trunk because she wanted to go stealing from Walmart and she didn't want the kids either distracting her or calling attention to her dirty deeds. Because why would she be charged for theft if all she did was leave her kids in the car? It would have been strictly about child abuse, not theft. So I believe that that was really her motive for putting those kids in the trunk is the fact that she wanted to go out stealing. Because had she left the kids in the car and anybody would have saw them in the car through the car window, that might have fucked up what she was doing up in the store. So that's why she put those babies in the trunk. This woman does not need custody of her children. If you're willing to put your kids in a car, and especially Memorial Day weekend, was pretty hot out here on the West Coast. You guys know I was kicking it yesterday, honey. So it was pretty hot out here on the West Coast. So for her to put her two babies in a hot car, not knowing if she might get caught, if something might happen to her in the store, what if those babies would have died? What if those little girls didn't say anything? What if they just sat there quietly? I mean, this entire situation is just really, really disturbing. I'm not buying her babysitter story, bitch. You are full of shit. You left those kids in the trunk of your car so you could go stealing inside Walmart because you didn't want the kids bringing more attention to your dirty deeds, okay? You know, this woman is just straight up ratchet. I hope that they investigate her fully. I hope they investigate her household to make sure that there's no further abuse going on in the household because if she's willing to put her two children in the trunk of a car, I can imagine what she does to them in the house. She probably keeps them in the closet, feeds them in the closet. She probably only allows them to go to the playground once a week or some shit like they're in jail. This woman is nuts as hell, but I'm not buying her story about this babysitter. She can go ahead and tell that tall tale to somebody else, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation that's coming from Utah. Are you buying this lady's story that she supposedly, you know, her babysitter supposedly didn't show up and that's why she put her kids in the trunk of the car? Or do you believe what I'm saying Why I feel like she put them in the trunk of the car so her dumb ass could go stealing and she didn't want a distraction, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Comment. All right, deuces.
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.